Hi guys, I'm Charlie, Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the angle is a bit different because I'm actually sitting on the pink chair that is usually there behind me. The stack of books I'm filming on has become a lot bigger to match my height. But anyway, I'm back here. Today I'm going to be talking about the games I'm looking forward to. So games that haven't been released yet, but I really want to play when they come out. The first game I'm going to be talking about is actually a sort of game franchise that I don't think many people have heard of, but it's a time management franchise and it's called Hearts Medicine. I have played the first two games, Hearts Medicine and Hearts Medicine Time to Heal, and I love them. They are hospital time management games and you are playing as an intern called Allison. and especially the second game was really amazing. I played the second game before I played the first game and I, did, I didn't think I should have done that because the second game was so much better than the first game. The story was amazing, the songs that were implemented, it actually made me cry. And I never cry at time management games, not that I have played one in a very long time, but I don't regret playing these. And the company that has made the first two games has already announced it's going to be a third game, but there is no title or no cover to show. But I'm really excited for the third game because I know I'm going to love it. Basically what you do in these games is you have to click as fast as possible. These people are coming into the hospital room you're working at and you're going through these hospital rooms like plastic surgery, physiotherapy, and you're going through levels in rooms like that. and. People are walking in and you have to click on them and assign them a station, like a bed, or a chair or something like that. And you have to do it as fast as possible. You have to think about it because s many people are coming in and you have to think about who am, I, who am I going to place first, who am I going to place second, so the first, one, first patient doesn't get mad. And it's quite frustrating but also quite relaxing at the same time. The second game I'm looking forward to is a very well-known game and it is FIFA 2017. Oh my god, I love the FIFA games. I'm obsessed with them. I'm con I've always been playing them on my brother's PC, but I have been playing FIFA 2016 on the Xbox One and I always play a career and I always make my own character and call him Charlie and give him red hair and make him my own age. <laughs> and I love playing as my own character and getting famous and and playing with all of these clubs. I love like Feyenoord and Chelsea and FC Barcelona and so amazing and something I'm really looking forward to because all of these games are, uh, are kind of starting to look the same but EA Games is going to give FIFA 2017 a story mode and we're going to follow a black man called Alex Hunter and we're going to go through his career and the choices you make really have an effect on the story mode obviously and I am so excited because the first time ever they are going to do this and all of the games in the future maybe will have story mode if it's going to go great in this game but I'm really looking forward to it so excited but I'm a bit sad we can't customize our own character but I read an interview where they said they did that intentionally, but I still hope we can customize our own character in the future games because that is something I really enjoy, like making, trying to make myself as a guy. The third game I'm really looking forward to is one by one of my favorite game developers, and that is Watch It Eye Games, and they are making a paranormal game again, and it's going to be called Unavowed. There isn't really known anything about it. We have seen some graphics, and we know a summary of it, but we don't know our release date yet. And I recently saw it on their site, but it has been announced for a little while, but it wasn't on the homepage, it was on under the games tab. But I have played all of their games and I enjoy them. They really make these pixelated art style games and they put in their commentary, you can turn on commentary mode and then you can listen how they produce the game and bloopers and things like that. And I really enjoy it. I'm currently replaying Chartlight, which is another game they the most recent game they came out with and I've already played it once and I'm going to replay it just to listen to their commentary because it also has spoilers so they give you a warning to not turn on commentary mode when you play it the first time but Unavowed, they have already made paranormal games before, especially the Blackwell series games. I think those were five games they created, and after that they went into a different direction with Techno Babilo, um, which is a science fiction game, and I'm talking about my favorite gaming company. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Unavowed, they are going to come out with a new paranormal game, and I am so excited because I literally play anything by them, but it looks amazing. And the Unavowed is an ancient society that you join because you have been possessed by a demon for six months, 
and you can actually choose if you want to be a male or a female protagonist. I think this is the first time they did that in their games, and I'm very, very excited. I don't know if it has any impact on the story if you choose a male or female protagonist, but I'm very excited that we can choose our own. And you can also choose one of three playable origin stories, so... The game will be very different, I think, depending on the origin story you choose. And I think you can also choose your companions. It's really a sort of RPG game, but it is point and click. I'm really looking forward to the third Danganronpa game. I haven't played the second one, but the first one was so amazing. And I can't wait to play the second one. I'm definitely going to. But the third one, I have to look up my laptop because I can't remember the name. It's called New Danganronpa V3 Minano Koroshiai Shingaki. And... I don't know anything about this, I just know the second game was has taken place on island, but I don't really want to know anything about the third game because I haven't played the second one, you know. But I am still really excited because the first one was really good. These are visual novel type games, but also RPG because you can walk around in first person, I believe. At least that was the case in the first game. But the second game, I think you just scroll around and you click on the place you want to go to. Anyway, I really loved it. You basically read most of the time, but I know the first game was... It was the case, the storyline was you are getting locked up in this school and with a lot of other people and to get out you have to kill someone and all the other people can't find out it's you and then all the other people get killed and you get out. But obviously everyone finds out who has done it, investigations ensue and, the peop and if they find out you were the one that killed the other person, you get executed by a really cute teddy bear called Monokuma. And the second game has a pink bear, which I'm really excited about because different characters, but Monokuma was my favorite character in the first Danganronpa game. And I don't know if he comes back in version 3, but I can't imagine a Danganronpa game without him anyway. The third game I'm excited about, I've already played, it has been out for a long time, and it's Star Trek Online. And it's a free-to-play MMO, and it has been out on PC. I played it on PC a while ago, and I've played it for a long time. You can create your own character, and create your own background, make an alien species, everything. Really, really cool. And... I loved it, but I haven't played in a long time because my laptop really can't handle it and I don't want to play it on my brother's computer. But Star Trek Online is coming to the Xbox One, still free to download. You can do all of the story, get up to level 60 and it is going to be amazing because I can play with the controller and that is my favorite thing to play MMOs with. So I'm very excited. It is still free to play and it's finally coming to Xbox One. Star Trek Online is obviously started in the Star Trek verse and you have these quests and it's a typical, a typical MMO but it's sci-fi and really cool and it's one of the best things I've ever played. But these are the games I'm really looking forward to coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what games you are looking forward to if you even enjoy playing video games which I think you do otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video unless you really like me. But let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!